The third book in this year's Hurricane Book Club is Island of Dreams by Dan Boothby. Um, it's a little different to the other two books in that it's a memoir, a work of non-fiction. And Dan had been drifting for sort of 20, 25 years, never really feeling comfortable, always looking for somewhere to call home. And strangely, the only place in his life he ever felt drawn to was a place in Scotland on the Highlands, um, and it was where Gavin Maxwell had lived, the author of Ring of Bright Water. And Dan had read those books, the Ring of Bright Water books, when he was a boy, and they exerted this amazing pull on him. And he constantly returned to this place in Scotland, constantly reread those books, and felt as if it was the one place he truly belonged. So a few years ago, there came an offer to Dan to be the warden on Kailakin Lighthouse Island, which was Gavin Maxwell's final home. And to Dan, this seemed like a dream come true. Um, Island of Dreams is about his time living on Kailakin Lighthouse Island. Uh, it's also a kind of biography of, a potted biography of Gavin Maxwell. And it's about Dan and his search for home and his investigation into his hero, uh, Maxwell. I really loved this book um, because Dan's voice is incredibly charming and warm. Uh, he's quite witty and wry sometimes. Um, although uh, it's a first book, uh, Dan was in his 40s when it was published, so he's got quite a lot of experience of the world, and I think that uh, brought a lot of richness to the book. And his observations of people and place are very good. Um, he's brilliant at describing his time on the island, especially the natural world. So on the one hand, it's very beautiful as you look out um, over the lock and the Kyle of Loch Alsh. On the other hand, uh, the Sky Bridge runs over the top of the island. It's a, it's a footpost for the Sky Bridge. So the traffic is kind of thundering overhead and the rain is coming in. And at the same time as it's very beautiful, it's also um, a little bit dry. And that's kind of the crux of the book. It's, it's a book about dreams and reality and about how if you follow your dreams, sometimes the reality isn't quite uh, as beautiful as you hoped. But maybe there's not, nothing so bad about that. Maybe that's just, just the nature of life. Anyway, I hope um, that'll give you some things to talk about and I hope you enjoy this book and I hope it might teach you a little bit more about the history and place uh, of Gavin Maxwell and the area of Scotland he called home.